Hey guys, it's Ken once again with a new video. This time it's going to be unboxing. I got a uh, sharp utensil out to get the tape all cut and ready, but let's uh, dig into this and see what's inside. Oh my goodness, it is what I thought it was. We got another scare freshener. I don't know if you guys know what you guys can see that. From Trick or Treat Studios, another cinnamon scent. And then the, the item of the hour. Of the year, I'd say. This is insane. I never thought I'd actually Get to all one of these, and there it is in all of its glory. So I just got it out, and there's already little hairs falling out everywhere, which was to be expected. But it's still going to be a fun to clean that up around the office and off the shelves and stuff. I'm pretty impressed with the sculpt work. Paint job is pretty good too. I would have, uh, I think the hair is a little too light, personally. Um, but the sculpt on the actual mask is once again really, really great. And this is the tag for the two new books they had uh, the book covers on there with the last collection they didn't or last year's stuff they didn't uh, new logo I think these are newer tags than last year I don't know if they do new tags every year but that's cool I always cut my tags off but I do keep the tags because they're cool little collectible things I don't know I like them and let's see what's the the back of the head and all that. Inside is just general. It didn't it doesn't look like they uh, figured out air holes for the mouth here, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, maybe in the nose. Yeah, I see some. There's some nose holes. Those eyes look like they'll probably need to be cut a bit. I'm going to see if I can try it on for you guys. Um, I don't know if I can do it and hold the camera at the same time, but give me a second. Okay, after uh, giving it a try, I definitely recommend cutting the eye holes a bit bigger. Um, I was trying to shoot with it and show you guys, but these uh, the eye holes were cutting into my eyes and I couldn't see shit. Um, that's, I'd say that's my only con, aside from like the hair falling out, but... For a mass-produced product, this is uh, fantastic. Really well done, another great job, trick or treat. And, uh, well, let's go see how it looks in the display. Well, it seems to fit right at home with the others. Beautiful looking. So, once again, to close out this video, or series of videos, I highly recommend tracking these down if you're a Goosebumps fan. It's the best money I've spent in a while. Um, the only thing I'm really sad about is the fact that uh, Scholastic took the licensing away from them. And, uh... This is probably as good as it's gonna get for Goosebumps merchandise, so... I knew I had to jump on it before they were gone forever. But once again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like, subscribe, give me a comment on what other videos you guys would like me to do. More DVD videos, or review videos, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Ciao.